What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vaughn here, the first back again of another video, man. You guys already know we do that. My Hero Academia every Sunday mornings, man. Last chapter was pretty decent. It wasn't really too much that went on other than, you know, us getting back to the whole uh, Deku, Ochako, and Toga situation. And Sue was all, also there, too. Um, and, we, you know, we figured out that uh, the reason why Deku's danger sense didn't work is because, um, obviously, Toga, how she shows love and affection is through, like, violence and blood and shit like that. So, basically, it didn't resonate. His danger sense didn't pop on because it wasn't, like, an ill intent like any other villain or any other person that would be attacking him. So, that was interesting, and it makes sense, and I like how Horikoshi put that together because it makes a lot of sense. Um, and Togo was just, she was just asking Deku out and shit and saying how, you know, she wants to be like him and all this stuff and, you know, just showing her, her love, you know, and it's very different from everybody else because she's extremely different from the rest of society. That's been her whole story, you know, her being completely different and just going about things in a very, you know, bloody and violent way, you know, from, you know, away from like the rest of society and stuff like that. And obviously they want to try to help someone like her but we don't know exactly how they could help her because i mean her quirk hey her quirk makes her different and that's just what it is you know what i'm saying they just got to accept it are you going to reject me from society you know are y'all the ones who claim that y'all want to you know help me or try to do something about it are you guys going to accept me or reject me and i always like that about her character because it's very real i think her character in this story is like very like I think is this is a needed character in the story because for one, it's a young individual, you know, she's around the same age as them. And two is just because like, it makes sense for somebody to have a crazy ass quirk to make them different from everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That is, that's always an interesting uh, story to tell. And we already see a lot of other characters are similar to her in this story. Just like some of the people that's within her group in the League of Villains in general. But yeah, man, let's get into this next chapter. We're on 349. I wonder how many chapters we got left of this series, because obviously we know we're in the end game pretty much. I just wonder when we're going to stop, maybe by 400 or, you know, somewhere around there. We'll see, though. But let's, let's get into uh, chapter 349. I like that little cover page with uh, uh, Bakugo and Miracle that looked clean. That boy Deku going out there. Um, you see the bird in the sky. <laughs> and then you see Deku just flying or going. I think he's using his Fajin quirk probably. I'm using both the seventh flow, yeah, and the third Fajin. That looks clean because he's basically like flying like like fast, you know, because he's floating and he's using the Fajin. That's like a whole energy multiplier type of quirk, you know what I'm saying? Air Force pushes me forward and helps me keep balance, but I'm too slow. Mm hmm. Out, okay, he's using the Air Force as well. Out in these open uh, waters, there's nothing for me to uh, to grab a hold of with this fifth black whip. Okay, so yeah, he's just going over the water. He's trying his best to keep on going, you know what I'm saying? Because he's over a hell of water, hella bodies of water. And like, yeah, all he can really use is flow and fodging. But of course, he can't really grab onto nothing. And the sun just decided to come out like that. Damn, I look kind of funny, huh? No, nah, anyway, uh, um... Fa 100% or Fox. I never know how to pronounce it. Anyway, 100% would do the trick, but uh, faster. I got to get there faster. Don't lose your head. It's, it's clouding your judgment. Okay, that's the second user talking to him. Okay. Are we going to see his quirk finally? That will be clean if we could. But I feel like, hmm, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Those reinforcement parts can't withstand, can't withstand one for all at 100% power, right? Are you planning on getting hurt before reaching the battlefield? No. <laughs> Hey, Deku, that's one thing I like about MCs in general, like, you know, they don't, they don't always have it, like, like, all planned out, they don't always have things just, you know what I'm saying, like, for Deku, like, we know he's very smart and stuff, but it's like, he, he kind of contemplates risking, you know, using all of these quirks right now to get over there, but then he's kind of contemplating, like, eh, well, I mean, I can't really do go all out when i'm not even in the battlefield yet because then once i get there i might be all fucked up or fatigued or something so it's like i like that the second user popped out to talk to him or did you attempt to use my meta ability yeah mm. you know something interesting too it's interesting that uh i mean it makes sense though that the second user is referring to his quirk as meta ability because isn't that the term for quirks like in the beginning is meta ability because i think all for one that said that before um or at least in the flashback or something like that I really wonder what his quirk is. And you see he has a scar on his face. I really want to know what his quirk was. Hmm. 
we're probably not gonna see it until he gets to the battlefield. I don't think we'll see it when he's like flying there, you know? I thought I told you that um, that was meant to be your last resort. Mm. I thought that. So is he already doing it? Because he's talking to him as if like, like I thought I told you not to do that and you just did it, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Or like, or maybe he's thinking, he, he knows that he was thinking about it. That's probably what it was. As one for all grew in strength, so did all of our meta abilities within it. As a result, mine evolved into a particularly unique power. It's not something that can be wielded the usual way as as I once did. <clears throat> Damn, I'm gonna have to be theorizing about that. Cause it's like, okay, it's like when you see, okay, so it's like a power that wasn't really nothing unique in the beginning. Like it was something that was decent and convenient enough for him to use obviously in whatever work he was doing. But then it turned into, obviously, since it got stronger and stronger, it turned into something different. So I feel like it's something that has to do has to do with, like, I don't know, like, honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But if he's thinking about it when he was flying, I'm assuming that maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I'll probably talk about it after, uh, later, maybe. Um, don't fall into desperation. This is a battle for the very future, yes? have faith in your friends they're all out there for their own reasons no one that should um no one that should allow you to focus your energy on your own battlefield yet hmm he's gone good i don't think midoriya could have ignored toga for long i can't stand the thought of a secret my uh on a, of a secret my friend hold dear holds dear being revealed like that i've had uh i've had enough izuku chan um izuku Ochako Suyu, I love you all, but I'm done. I'm ready to be who I want to be. As I, um, all I want is to live the way that feels right to me, and I like that. I respect that a lot. Like at least she could tell them that. Like I know she's she's aware that she lives different from everybody else. So, but she's like, can can we just come to a compromise with it? Like I'm I'm gonna do what I gotta do, and you guys do what you gotta do. If we gotta fight, we gotta fight. Fuck it. That's just how it's gonna be. I'm Himiko Toga, and I've got no use for heroes, so get ready to say bye-bye. No thanks, I'm also um, I'm also living the way that's right for me as Ochako Udaraka. Yep. Okay, we see big-ass fire. It's probably uh, one, one, one of the Todoroki shit. <laughs> Kanagawa Prefecture Kamino Award. Damn, all around that goddamn All Might sa statue, too. Ground Zero. There are already so few heroes left, and you're losing more by the minute. Let's see... We've got a, a Nomu in a raging sea of fire. This is really bringing back memories, even if it wasn't that long ago. Look at that. I like that panel. Him standing right next to the statue. That boy, Dobby, looking crazy. He's burning up everything. His, his fucking clothes burning off and shit, too. It looked like seeing that battle on Hosu spurred me to take action, you know? Shoto. The sheer heat is extraordinary. I can't get any closer. Let's ruin it by engine. Uh, um, let's, ru let's ruin it my in wait i can't get any closer lest it ruin my engines <laughs> whoops sorry just yapping away to myself once again he won't pay me any attention it really bums me out that all i get is his third son and his uh three merry helpers merry helpers is that really his answer to me you can't uh you keep back keto your body's got no uh way to withstand the heat endeavor sidekick keto and anima um i'm good you know i can alter the trajectory the trajectory of anything so i've got um, so I've, I just got to make all of that hot air swerve around me. Nothing new for me. Keep it a cool head and go about it logically. That's how I've done it for a whole decade. Just like always, I'm here to follow our main man's orders because I want to. They probably gonna get bodied. I ain't gonna lie. His family drama may be, uh, may be a can of worms, but Endeavor shows up and gets the job done. Even if he's, if he does stink like an old fart <laughs> and that includes today, Endeavor sidekick burning. And now he's handed off us three junior stinkers to you. So you've got our full support, kid. Thanks for that, Burning. No thanks needed. Save your energy. Toya, Dobby, you got it all wrong. I'm not here on anyone's orders. I'm standing here now because I made the decision to stop you. Stellar job being the perfect little pawn dad always dreamed of. If I ignored you and kept trying to be a hero anyway, that just might be true. Hey, uh, hey, fair enough. This war is all about the people involved. It's not the mindless soldiers following orders who are the real movers and shakers. This is what happens when everyone's got feelings and urges that start firing off. Some want to change the world they live in or destroy the warp imbalances built up over time that we all just came to accept. Yeah, everybody, everybody got a, got a motive. Everybody got a reason as to why they're doing this. And 
I mean, it's very, it's clear as day. You're a hero, a villain, a vigilante, anti-hero, anti-villain, whatever it is. Like, everybody has um, their role and they have reasons as to why they chose those roles or they are, are on whichever side that they're on. At the end of the day, they're all doing the same thing in terms of fighting, but they all have it for different reasons. So, you know, it's understandable. Behold the limitations of super power society. That's me. That's all of us. You survived back then, so why didn't you come home? That's the question I've been thinking about for a long time. I'm like, what? Like, what happened in the mountain? Like, that was it. Like, w w like what happened? You know, we thought he was dead, dead, and I didn't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? They showed us a little bit after the war arc that went back to that, but they didn't really, you know, uh, horror coach didn't elaborate on it back then. You really want to know? Fine. Happy to share Rodden or not? I'm still your big bro. Here's the story of how I became Dobby. That's interesting that he said that. Rodden or not, I'm still your big bro. So he acknowledged, he's like, okay, I mean, shit, I'm related to you. I, I can at least give you an answer at this point because I might end up killing y'all anyway. So I might, I might as well just give you an answer. That's interesting. And you see something's burning off. And the, oh shit, did his jaw burn off? What the fuck? And the reason I'm still alive and kicking to tell the tale, even when I never stop burning hotter than you, his masterpiece. What the fuck? Wow, that's the end of the chapter two. And I think we got wait two weeks. Damn, we got wait two weeks with me in April and shit, boy. Hey, man, I like this chapter though. We, you know, we're getting some stuff. There's a lot to talk about, you know, throughout the chapter in terms of the whole hero, villain type thing, or you know, Toga. And then the second user, that's something I'm very interested in. I have no idea what it, would it be, but it seems like it's like a, a power that's like very, I'll just say it, it probably goes, I don't know, like, I feel it's like a wide range power or something like that. It just seems like, cause the fact that he keeps saying that like, you know, our powers got stronger, our meta abilities, abilities got like vastly stronger. I just kind of feel like this might be one where it's like, like by eye, you know, you can see that it's actually a big power or something. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to keep theorizing about it. Probably not in this video cause I don't want to go too, too long, but I want to talk about the Dobby situation right now. And well, really what I'm about to talk about is some, something I was just talking about with uh, Deku. It's about his quirk. Honestly, that's, his quirk, it might be some kind of... Well, I don't know, though, because he has burn marks, though. You know what I'm saying? He has burn marks. Unless he's going to reach, you know, quirk singularity. Like, he's going to actually reach, like, that that peak potential in quirk. I feel like Dobby might be, like, a phoenix-type quirk, to be honest. Because why is he not dead? You feel me? Like... Shit's been burning off. He's like reattaching shit to his body and stuff like that. Like over time, obviously, because he has burn marks on him and shit. But like, I really want to know if it's like a Phoenix type thing. Because if so, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Because they thought he was like dead, dead. Like he burned up, burned up. But it looks like he's, you know what I'm saying? Because cause we knew that his body, since his body was more compatible with his mom's side with the ice and stuff like that. And using his fire, his quirk, it was fire, but his body is more like, you know, just similar to his mom. So it's like, that's why he was burning so fucking much. Cause it's like his body can't withstand his flames. But I wonder if it's going to get to the point where it might be able, like his body got used to the flames and perhaps, or maybe that's not, the, maybe it's just always been like that. I've always been like a Phoenix. Like, even though his body itself isn't necessarily strong his quirk is so his quirk is the thing that's kind of carrying himself in terms of him have like a rebirth because you know that's how the whole phoenix thing is like rebirth and all that i wonder if it's like that if that has something to do with that because that would be interesting but i'm excited to see what he's going to tell him i really I'm, I'm glad that we're getting this right now because i've been waiting for this. this is actually something i actually been waiting for for a minute to see what the fuck happened in the mountains when he was training and all that you know that whole incident but um Interesting though, very interesting. And it's, it's pretty poetic. Well, I don't know if it's poetic or it's just cause it just makes sense, but his jaw fell off. Like right now, like he burned off right there. And that was obviously um, something that I believe that they had found in the mountains originally. That was his only remains, I believe back then. So that's interesting. But yeah, man, this is a pretty good chapter. I'm gonna give this chapter a rating. Um, we got a few things. We got some of the stuff from Toga and Ochako, like I said already. And then we got some Deku, second user quirk and then Dobby. This, chapter is a setup chapter and this is getting us anticipated for the rest of the stuff but um with this chapter though i'm gonna give it a uh i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because i think last chapter i gave like a 6 or 6.5 because um like it like it was 
pretty much more or less stuff that we already knew about, you know, with Toga and all that stuff. But this chapter had that and it had some Deku stuff and it had the Dobby and Shoto stuff at the end. So I, I, I liked it. I actually really liked it. Of course, the art has always been great anyway. So yeah, seven out of 10 for me. And that's pretty much all I got. So let me know down below what you guys think about this chapter and my reaction and all that. Um, just stay tuned for more videos. I got JJK coming up right after this. So if you are a JJK manga reader as well, you know, pull up to this next video. I might drop them around the same time like I usually do. So yeah, stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next video. Peace.